Hello YouTube, it's me Garfan, and today, today I am playing s some Divine Slice of Life. Uh, uh, and so last episode, we ended off with her pretty much talking about her bra. Yeah, bad, that was, I just don't even know what was with that episode in all honesty. That's why I need to confess, alright? I, I didn't know, know or care where you do, would do it, but I just did get jealous of those two girls when once those uh, two girls started joining you everywhere. You mean Ren and Yoi? Yes, those two. So you're going to tell me right now, uh, once and for all, who you want. And after that, we'll stick with by that decision. Mm hmm. Typical Taka. I laid my feelings on the line, and she still is. Wait. Why did you want me to confess? Tell me. No, you tell me first who you like. Do it now, Aoki. Or Ayaki. Even in the darkness, I can tell she's looking right at me. For the first time, I'm glad we're in the dark because I don't think I'll be able to com keep my composure otherwise. Eric, why am I so flustered around Taka uh, today all these days? It's bad enough with everything that's uh, happening lately, but now I gotta deal with this. Hey, I already said it. It's you. So, it's so quiet now. Even uh, uh, outside, no sound can be heard. Taka just looks at me. Do you promise? Just freaking accepted! Like, he already said it! Eric, hey, don't yell. People will find out we're here. Aki, I can't hear you. Um, yes, I really like you, Taka. Hmm, that's not what you said a moment ago, but I'll let it go, Erk. Without warning, Taka gets me a hard knee to my gut. Ouch! The... Uh, I guess it could be worse, like... Like, in all honesty, I probably had something worse happen to me, like... Literally, like... Like, my senior year, so the year, year that I just completed. And I pretty much took a hit to the chest, and it's actually kind of funny after he took the ch chest hit, because it's like, I pretty much just like walked a few steps, um, uh, fainted pretty much, hit, supposedly hit a wall, uh, and hit the ground. Like, like, it's an expensive story, but it is still kind of funny with the, what happened, because just like... To me, just like, like with everybody else, they were just like, uh, no, uh, just stay down. It's like, with me, it's just like, oh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. <laughs> and it's just like, like, I honestly just did not know that my blood, that my nose is like broken and, or bleeding, like, and like, it was, pr my nose was pretty much broken at that time, like. Uh, I didn't really need surgery because just like I still was able to breathe fine. So uh, yeah, it's like like if you can breathe fine through your nose, uh, even if it, the nose is broken, it it's it would probably do it could do more harm to do the surgery than to not. Uh, that's for for hesitating. Honestly, you've been so confident lately that you shouldn't be blabbering when it's most crucial. Uh, yeah, spell broken. Uh, I guess. It's okay. I'll forgive you, Aki. Just when we're kids. See? <laughs> Phew, I'm glad Taka is so understanding. Well, no, she's probably scheming something right now and saving it for later. But more importantly, um, Taka, I already said it's fine. I like you too. Well, I love you, but, uh, you won't say it back. Jeez, you need to be more of a man. I'm trying. You don't seem uh, to have to try hard or very hard lately. Every time I, I'm obviously you, you seem so confident and sure of yourself. I wish you could have been like that around me earlier. Or at le least you'll have the courage to confess properly and not make a girl pull you into a closet. Uh, you're lucky. You're lucky. My mom has such great advice for the winning the hearts of boys. It's your mom. Well, enough about her. Time to focus on us. You said you like me, but that's not good enough. Not for me. Ah, uh, I figured so. Hmm? Hey, what? 
This is still sort of awkward. We're, we're still pressed against each other with neither one of us budging. And I want to point out it's probably really safe to step out of the closet, but I don't want to leave Taka. Not now. Her soft breathing feels so nice, heaving it up and down against my body. You're not going to say it now either, stupid Aki. Eh? She's putting me on the spot. Okay, literally, what is she meaning? Um, because, like, I have absolutely no idea what she's meaning by this. Like, like, I immediately think just, like, like, I love you. You as what she's trying to get him to say, but it's like, uh, what the heck are you trying to get him to say? Just, like, like, are you trying to get him to say, like, uh, are you trying to get him to say, will you marry me? Is, is that what you're trying to get him to say? So I, okay, Taka, I, wait, don't say it now, it'll lose on meaning. You have to say it, say it like you did at the beginning, when it was just the thrill of the, the emotions forcing you to say it. But, if you say it now, it'll cheapen it. I don't want to hear it unless it's completely heartfelt. It was heartfelt, but, but why can't I uh, easily say it again? What's stopping me? Is it because the spell wore off? It's because of Taka? Because of Taka? Uh, I'm pretty sure our mom gave me another bit of advice for the situation. Now, what did she say? I whispered for myself, Taka, I tightened my body in fear of another knee to the gut, or worse, knowing Taka, even during confession, it could be anything brutal. What was that? Hmm, uh, hey. Uh, the two, uh, damn, I guess, is breaking down the door. Here it comes. It's hard to see in the dark, so it's difficult to prepare. Even so, I'm getting ready to. I love you. Before I can finish, we're kissing. I can't help myself. Before I know it, I'm carefully unbuttoning her top to reveal her body underneath. As, as we kiss, as we lose our, as ourselves together. Yeah, I made you say it. Not like any man would have been able to resist saying it. Yeah, what are you saying? Just that you picked a good time to coerce me into saying it. Hey, hey I'm just joking. I do love you, but... And I can say without uh, us doing anything. Mm, well, that's true. Of course it's true. Hey, Aki. That guy rests her head and arms on my chest. Her body is light and... I enjoy the feeling she closes her eyes, smiling, and looks up, looks like she's about to sleep. I've always loved you. Taka, I uh, know you don't. Know. What do you mean? You're only going out saying that because of spell, but you know what? I love you, and I'll ask the girls to get rid of them. What are you talking about? I've loved you since we were kids. My mom even encouraged, urged me to ask you to play. Your mom? Yeah. It's true that Taka's mom always encouraged us to play together since we were kids. Is that really why? I've always had feelings for you, way before those two girls came about. Uh, I even have, or, well, wrote about you a few times in my diary, too, since years ago. Tiger blushes about keeping her, but keeps her hands and hands firmly on my chest. If that was the case, then, could Rin and Yui really not have done all that? But they used their spell on me, and that don't work. Sakura and Rowan and Aki and everyone were acting weird. Weird, erred, and Taka only confessed to me now. So then, why did all did? So then, why did uh, this only happen after they came into the picture? Could it really have just been me? Although you have gotten more confident lately. Uh, there it is. The mention that mention of confidence again. And Brian and Yui's magic was for attractiveness and intelligence, not for confidence. Uh, uh, it's because of their spells was of because perhaps the spells of those two who affected my comp confidence indirectly or simply having them rounded them. Ah. Oh. Uh, huh. The door to the janitor's closet swings open with a loud bang. Rin and you are standing there, the arms crossed, staring at, at us down in our naked breasts. Uh, she's not really naked, like... I can't see the other guy, so I can't say anything on her, on him, but with her, she still has her uniform on. Taka clings to me, Tyler, watching them both stand and 
watching them as they stand in the, at the doorway um, outside almost blinding me. It, they really look like divine beings at this moment. Oh god, I'm dead! Uh, I knew this would happen. We were too late. Yes. Else I'll lead since you decided to go with her. So you guys, we'll have to revoke your powers, Incarnation of Zeus. It's a shame, but it'll be as our magic never touched you since that night at the park. Ran you away. I, I freeze. A uh, sharp pain hits me in the stomach from inside. It's the pain I felt when I stopped the fight in between the goddesses, except without the knife, knife there. Blood starts dripping out of my stomach and the pain takes over. Arg. I can you help him. Um, check up. I fall to the floor. Rena and Yue are no longer there, and the pain gets greater. Er, I feel more blood leaking out, and I want to fall asleep. I can feel Taka in front of me. Hmm? Taki, are you awake? Er, er, the world comes around me comes back. Uh, I slowly open my eyes. I'm in a white room. The light above me is bright and noon. I'm in a bed. I can't move easily. So at least we don't go to, like, Hell or wherever the demon is, is uh, with like Aki. I oh, sorry, Aki. Me. Aki, are you okay? Are you all right? So, I thought I was dead. Apparently, not really. <laughs> so apparently, as long as I was not going with the demons, I should be all right. I'm not sure if uh, how Sakura would be. Uh, oh, good. You remember. I'm glad you're safe. Am I dead? Are we in... No, hospital. It's me, Taco. Uh, I'm here. Er, I feel a soft hand on mine as I lie weak in my weakened state. Uh, that hand feels more comforting than any hospital bandage. Ah, my stomach. I remember now. Blood leaked out of my stomach after the demigods found me in the closet. I died. You got bandaged up. Don't move, though. Oh, the doctors will kill me, and I'll kill you. Um, and Taka, I'm alive. Thanks. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm here for you, Aki. Just like you are, er, like you're here for me, right? Yeah, always. And those two won't be here anymore for you. I can't say for sure, to be honest. I doubt that they would stay. They have no reason to be here anymore now that I've made my choice to be with an earthly girl. Good. Taka grips. Grips my hand tighter and I look into soft eyes. I want to be with Taka, mortal and all. She smiles at me, then leans over to me and closes her eyes, puckering her lips. I smile and close them in return. As I lie there with my best friend beside me, there are only good things to come. Then, a good end, Taka. Uh. Okay, so I just needed to click. So, I'll meet you guys back for another ending. Okay, so what I've decided to do next is just, like, let Taka go. Oh, see what happens there. Er. Because really, except for, like, the doing Yui, uh, I can't really see anything that would lead to, like, a different route. Because uh, that's like the Rin Rui thing. It shouldn't really affect too much, in all honesty. Uh, my kiss or Aki? What is it? Uh, why did you wish for the power to attract women? And if you didn't uh, even need it? What? It's clear you were already surrounded by mortal women before this. This was so many of them um, now throwing their hearts at you. Uh, it just makes me curious. What would make you uh, wish for something you already have? I say this, but that this kind of thing has never happened to me before. It's probably caused by your spell. Besides, Tuck is a dear friend of mine. There's no way she would be into me. Even if she were, she, or it would be because of your spell. I've known Tuck my whole life, and it's hard to think of her as anything more than a friend. And, well, actually, she is into you, dude. And, Aki? Hmm? Rin's not even the goddess of love, and she can see it. It's obvious as to the eyes of even the most inexperienced in the ways of love. What is? I can tell you also have a soft spot for Taka, too. Taka? 
That's the one thing I can tell is the goddess of love. And now hold on. If you fall for her Wait a minute, what? Oh my god. I would just meet you guys back at the choice eyes uh, and pick uh pretty much really. That's how you Um actually no the choice isn't too far away. I don't think so. I'll just meet you guys back. Okay, so a different choice that we pro that probably would work is like this. I first myself up at the sound of the alarm, alarm clock. Oh yeah, I did go and do click press the snooze button. Yeah. I first myself up at the set sound of the alarm clock and hit hit turn off the alarm. Um, once I'm sitting up, up completely. Last night, well, it was last night. Yui, Rin, just five more celestial orbits. It's not uh, Armageddon yet. Are uh, you guys? And you guys complain when he doesn't go and wake you up? You guys tell him it's just like, like, just let me sleep, pretty much. Which? I mean, seriously, it's like you can't. Quit being a freaking hypocrite. I don't even want to know what these two are talking about in their sleep. Either way, I can't afford to spend much time here. Exams are today. Yeah, I put on some casual clothes from the cupboard and get changed to and leave the house. Those two can be pretty happy to be asleep. Seem pretty happy to be asleep, and they'll cause more trouble than they're worth Earth on a day like this. I just hope they don't cause a ruckus when they wake up. And demigods, and they can't even wake up at earthly times. Um, I know, right? I laugh to myself as I make my way towards the exam hall. Carry the... I don't remember revising this. What's going on? Question 7. This as well. I could have... I might have learned these things once or twice at least in class, but that was it. My memory was never good, this good. Then it hits me. Eh. Thanks. Thank you, goddesses. And for that spell and for last night, I smirked to myself. And the rest of the exam, exam breezes by easily. I, I even and finished before most of the other students. And... Sakura? <laughs> okay, th this is probably what what leads to the Sakura route. Uh, and then there's probably also like the Rin and Yoi routes. It's, and then there's also like like whatever is like any four or one. Uh, I'm not sure how I get to that one. Oh wait, no, I think I do. Oh, uh, it could be like a total bad end where like. Everybody dies or something. There could also be like a very good one where like I get it, everybody. <laughs> yeah, not sure. I uh, I pretty much know where I uh, I I'm gonna I know what what to do. Try first. Outside the exam hall, Sakura is standing in her usual cute pose. Uh, she seems to be pointing towards something. I I look out uh, towards the U university park. Or where she's playing. I wonder at first what she means, but she starts to walk in that direction, so I follow her. Uh, hey, Aki. Hey, how are your exams? Smooth, actually. Guess your studying really helped. Hey, I'm glad. Uh, hey, can I ask you something? I want your honest opinion. Of course, what's up? Ronan has asked me out. R uh, really? Uh, yeah. Um, congratulations? Really, what else can I say in this situation? Inside, though, I'm anything but pleased. What do you think? Is he a suitable guy for me? Uh, no. That's the last question I want to be asked. I'd rather she ask us how soon she should go to bed with him. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. He knows where it's at a lot of the time. Oh, what? There are times where it's like, uh, no, you do not know where it's at at all. Though, to be fair, with the Akami ones, like, I probably would have done it, but still, like, I was confused until the ending. <laughs> and, um, I'd rather. Oh, I went up. Okay, save it up, the flu. Hmm, 
I would say not. Honestly, no. You two are way different from each other, and quite frankly, you're too good for him. He may be popular with lots of girls, but that just means he won't look at you in a special way. Yeah, that's actually true. Like, that's pretty much why I say he's not doable for her. Uh, I was hoping you would say that. Thanks so much, Aki. Thanks for being honest with me. Uh, uh, of course, I'm always here for you if you need me. Really? Uh, yeah, you can always you can count on it. Uh, but yeah, I probably would be like one of the wor worst visual novel readers because literally I just read everything in like a normal voice. Uh, it's like I don't. I, I will never go and change voices because just like, like it pretty much would just like more kill my voice because just like if I talk normally then it's like uh like if you change your voice uh, or try changing it 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 goes and puts a lot more strain on your voice than what it is when you talk normal that's why I talk normally usually when uh, in pretty much most cases oh then I I like you Aki Sakura uh you know it's sudden uh, but it's true I uh I have feelings for you, and that's why I wanted you to, uh, to tell me your thoughts about me and Rowan. Uh, I... Uh, he never said anything about you. I, he just said uh, that he wasn't suitable for you. Oh, uh, it's... Okay, you don't have to speak. I know uh, you only think of me as a friend, but for me now, that's... It, it's enough. Uh, I guess uh, so I just wanted to ask you out for some, re for some time now. I really am speechless. There was a beautiful girl confessing her feelings to me, and all stupid me and can do here is stand here and nod his head. At least, uh, let me give you this. She walks up to me and kisses me on the cheek. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. I get. I can just as uh, I just ask that you think about it. She then smiles, her brilliant smile that distracted me on that night in the library. Yeah. Uh, she turns and slips away before turning her around again. Oh yeah, a uh, waking up on time would go and allow him to meet her before she actually did it. Because uh, he actually had to take the test late. Uh, no matter how fast he finished it, he still would be out uh, past uh, her. And probably she would be able to give her answer to like Rowan and and meet the, him at like the uh place that just like if we actually are going to and see it it's death because I did check uh, and once I investigated the movements it's pretty much gone it's like uh, I have I had like absolutely nothing left to do Oh, cause just like I had absolutely no choices after the, uh, pretty much who to strip thing or uh, if it happens again, I will I'll probably go and choose the other one. Like, uh, like I'll probably go and be doing other things. And like I try, I always will try to do uh, hopefully different combinations that work or towards different endings. And she turns and skips away before turning around again. Say, Aki. All I can do is nod uh, when she looks at me like that. Let's meet up this weekend. You did say you would always be there for me when I need you. Uh, okay, what way do you need him? <laughs> I nod again. All I can think about right now is the feel of her lips, but the response seems to have satisfied her. See you this weekend then, Aki. Wait, where? I stand there speechless as... Hey! Thank you! Now you are not supposed to move up without me actually wanting you to move up. I stand there speechless as she skips away. And... Oh, uh, these two... I'm not sure if these two are satisfied with that or are absolutely pissed off. I'm not sure. There you are. You're lucky we're good at finding you. My heart sinks to the bottom of the depths of the ocean in relief as I realize that neither Rin or Yui saw that kiss just then. I share the catalysm that of what might have occurred. Oh, thank. Yeah, it's pretty much just like in this world, thank Aki or whoever 
is the head god in this world. Because uh, I know that this thing is based on Greek mythology, so it could be be just like think Kronos, uh, and just like Kronos is like I, uh, or the reincarnation of Kronos is like it's like the reincarnation of Kronos, and just like like that one that he goes up to the go gods that Kronos is actually that he actually becomes the head god instead of Kronos, or the reincarnation of it. I'm oh, sorry, or the incarnation of it. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, girls. What's with all that, uh, all the commotion around here? Oh, uh, today was exam day. I just finished my exams. Did my king slaughter these rudimentary tests as like he did the Titans of old? Uh, I didn't actually slaughter them, but I guess that then analogies do works. Actually, yes. All thanks to us, all of yours. My king, is that alright uh, if we go eat to celebrate your triumphs over the examinations of your school uh, studies? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Um, yeah, I don't mean to re be rude, but you th Okay, so I'll meet you guys back for the next change. I was... I can't believe I was such an idiot that I forgot God, that there is this option. I selected this. Let's see what happens with that. I like you a lot, and I always, always hope, and we'll always be friends, but I'm sorry, I can't like you in any other way. Taka looks at me, back at me with disappointment. I don't want to lose her friend, and I can't lie to her even if I wanted to, so I have to be honest. And even though she look, still looks disheartened, but what else can I say to her? It's anything as long as it'll keep her friendship. She'd been with, with me as long as I can remember, and selfish of me to reject her outright in favor of other girls, but it would be even more wrong for me to lie about my feelings. Even so, the way she's looking at me right now, it makes this whole thing even harder. Aw, she's crying. I can already feel my throat going dry with the way she's looking at me. Even what... Even when I've only said a few words. If this keeps up, there's no telling what what might happen. She might hate me and never want to see me again. Or simply go passive aggressive like she became a, and become a distant friend of mine. Thank you, Aki. How can I save this situation? Tricks and lies won't work. So the only way I left it is to... Uh, the only thing left to tell her is to hold her. Er, Taka, Aki, there's no use right now. Now I have to say it. I have to be preserve this friendship. Even if she never wants wanted to speak with me again. And I could never forgive myself. Look, Taka, I'm not human, huh? She's looking at me like I've grown a second head. But I can't stop now. I'm not human, so I can't love somebody who's human the truth. Are you crazy? Uh, yeah, problem. The, no, there's no way I could fall in love with a human being. It's simply impossible. I, I belong in the pantheon of the gods, and gods can only love other gods. I'm sorry, Taika. If I were to get mixed up romantically, uh, you would get struck with a bolt of lightning, and I'd have to go through 12 labors or something like that. I stand my ground looking up, up in the eye. No, actually, you would go and ha have blood coming out of you. Or, well, well, actually, you would be in a whole lot of pain. And, because just like in all the endings I've seen so far, it's been just like he's been in pain. I ho hope to the gods, if they do exist, that you'll let it slide from all this. Hey now, Aki, this is ridiculous, even for you. If you didn't want to be with me, then you should have. No, really, the... You have no idea the kinds of things I've, I've uh, been going on with for the past few weeks. It's been one thing after the other. I've been, had crazy girls show after me, people picking people picking fights with me, and everyone acting completely out of character. Well, that's high school. Well, that's college, actually. Possibly a high school. Uh, I think both are like that. But I can't lose you. Tucker, not you. After everything that is happening, you're the one 
refused to let go off. Um, I thought I could almost get done with the line, but unfortunately not. So I guess that's it. Like, uh, we pretty much got. We pretty much got rid of the broad talk. We saw another ending, uh, which was a good ending, uh, supposedly for Taka. Uh, which, in comparison to the other ending that we got, it is a very good ending because it's like, like with him, he's still alive. The other one, I think the guy is in like hell or something like that, uh, and he died in like a love hotel. <laughs> Oh, with the the ending. At least I think he did. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I guess I, uh, uh, this is like a good enough point to end it off. Uh, uh I will always go and cut it off at like thirty minutes. Uh, I may end it a little bit earlier, but for the most part, I'll end it off at thirty. Well, thirty like. I'll, you'll usually see me end things off at 30 minutes. It's the only times that I do not end it something off with like 30 minutes is like, at uh, 30 minutes is like, I if I forget to end it, it or if I uh, well it's just like when I lose track of time or when I go and loot or when I am doing like a tournament in Blaze Blue uh, or possibly an arena. Uh, uh, see episode nine for that. Uh, then I also, I also, I do think that we do have a tournament. That, uh, that tournament should be up by the time, time that I get this thing up. Uh, we may also have started on like a quantum shift at this point, point, but I'm not sure. So, uh, I'll. I thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoy seeing this. And unfortunately, at the end, they didn't talk or cry. I don't know what. Uh, with the talk or cry thing, I don't know why you would. Uh, but it's happened. And, and I'll see you guys next time.